Oh, we yeah. Okay, we're moving right along. So, um, when we finished Pikmin three, is that when you went through and started playing Pikmin one, two, and three again? I don't remember. Or was, or maybe you played Pikmin one and two before we played three, and then after we played three, you played three. I don't remember. I don't remember That's at this point. Likely. But um, Mal started playing Pikmin four. Because we beat Pikmin 4 um, on our own as part of the series. Um, and now Mal wants to play it by herself. And it's, it's going to be a different experience. Like, our series was two-player, which was fun and unique because player two has gun. Uh, but it, obviously, it's a completely different game. And I liked, I liked the way we did it because it did make it unique. But Mal wants to experience Pikmin 4 single-player. So she started it. By the way, hello everyone and welcome to uh, Saturday. Anyway, today's vlog is a very specific subject. There's something very specific I want to talk about, and it has to do with a challenge that I issued to myself at the beginning of this year. Um, I've been doing daily vlogs for a long time. I'm in year 15. But this year, I decided that in addition to doing videos, I wanted to also do photos. I wanted to post a, a new photo to Instagram every day. I wanted to take a new photo, I wanted to edit it, and I wanted to post it to Instagram. And this was important to me because I really do like photography. Um, I don't do as much of that as I would like, and it, my hope was that I would take more photos and edit more photos because that's something that I, I just genuinely enjoy. So the purpose of, of doing this was to, was to be an improvement in my life. And it honestly started out really well. Like I hit every single day for the first three months of the year. And then as I got into, and I, like I might be a little behind, but only like a week or so, and I would get them posted and it would be fine. But as we got into April... There was a life event. We moved to, to, this, to this house. And when we moved, there was so much to do and so much to catch up on in the other aspects of my life that I fell very far behind on doing this, this challenge for myself. And the problem is that since I had been posting everything chronologically, I felt like I would need to go back to where I left off in order to start posting again. And as time went on, that became more and more daunting. The idea of, oh, well, it's, it's July and there's some cool stuff happening and I, I, I even are taking photos of it, but I can't post it because in order to post it, I need to upload April 3rd and then April 4th and 5th and 6th. And like, so that was awful. That was a terrible feeling. And, and the problem is I'm the type of person that when I, when I say I'm going to do something, I really, really mean it. And that means that if I don't do it, it's like it really, really weighs on me in a very big way. So this entire year, and I, I mean, I've told Mao about this. I've told my friends, like Alex knows how much, like this has super bothered me in such a big way, but there was nothing I could do about it. It was just this thing that existed that bothered me that I was like, well, I just have this thing that bothers me because I, I don't have enough time to go back to April 3rd and start on all this stuff. So um, I just let it bother me until last night. Last night, I stayed up much later than I should have, and... I posted photos to Instagram. I knew that there was no way that I could do every single day. I couldn't fill in all of those gaps. But I did know that I could post a lot of stuff, so I did. I posted over 70 photos last night to Instagram, and I filled in the gaps from April to December. The big key takeaway here, because some of you are gonna be like, wait, you did all of that in one night. You could have kept up with things. There's a huge difference. So when I had been doing the daily uh, Instagram posts, there were some days where I didn't take a, a photo. But that was fine because I could use a still from the vlog. And I would do that. The issue is, if you have to start scrubbing through vlogs to fill in days, 
and you've got, and you're like months and months behind, that takes forever. That is too difficult. But just sitting in bed and like using the, the photos that I had taken, that was easy because I already had them on my phone. A lot of them had been edited. See, that's the thing. As the year went on, I continued to take photos and I continued to edit them. I didn't always have an outlet for them um, because I wasn't posting them to Instagram. I would send them to friends. I would post them on Discord. Sometimes they would show up in the vlogs or on a stream, but I wasn't posting them to the place I wanted to post them. And uh, that made it kind of nice because, you know, last night I'm posting stuff to Instagram. I have a bunch of photos to post. So I did. And um, I'm happy about it. I didn't do the challenge this year in the way that I wanted to, but it taught me a few things. For one, I shouldn't make promises. <laughs> I really shouldn't because if I do that, the for the type of person that I am, if I do not follow through on that, it is going to hurt. It is going to haunt me. So that's bad. Um, <laughs> knowing that though, and, and being, you know, relatively caught up on everything on, on Instagram, I am going to go into next year with a fresh slate and understand that I can just post whenever I want. And I will probably post more often as a result, not feeling like I am beholden to doing a daily thing. It's just so interesting because like looking back on it, this was supposed to be something that would encourage me to take more photos. And like, it's, it kind of did, but there were days that I missed, and in order to fill in those gaps, I used stills from the vlog, which was fine, but was not really the goal. And if I would have just skipped those days when I was doing it, I would have stayed caught up the entire year. <laughs> Fun. So yeah, um, I think when I issued that challenge, I, I don't know if I asked the audience to join me or if some of you just said that you would join me, but um, I'm curious for anyone else who tried that this year, how that went for you. It was difficult. It was difficult. And maybe you would have an easier time with it than, than I did because you're probably not also keeping a daily vlog. <laughs> but I'm curious to see, you know, how you did. My advice for you going into next year, if you want to do something like this, is to just, you know... Try to encourage yourself to find opportunities to take more photographs. Maybe not force yourself to take a photo every single day. Make it your theme. Yeah, themes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Your themes, we've talked about themes before as, um, as like a, a New Year's thing. Yes. A resolution. <clears throat> That well, you don't you don't have a specific it's goal. Alternative to a resolution. It's yeah. It's not a resolution and it's not a goal. It's a theme. You have a theme. Sometimes your theme is health. Sometimes your theme is hobbies or something. Uh, that's that would be my suggestion. And that's what I'm going to do for next year. I plan to continue to post to Instagram. Um, if you're not already following me on there, consider it because I you know I did actually post a fair bit this year, and I'll try and post a little bit more you know, next year. But um, it is fun for me. I really enjoy taking photos. I really enjoy editing them. That is so much fun for me. And like, it's even to the point where if friends take photos, I edit them. Yeah. You know, like someone will take a photo and I'll be like, can I touch that up? And they'll be like, yeah, go for it. Like, I think one of the most striking ones was the photo Alex took after we did the USA yeah. uh, baseball MLB yeah. pro thing and yeah, then the renaissance yeah. yeah that was that was very fun and i included that in the vlog yeah at some point to make sure that folks could see it sometimes whenever i'm editing stuff it's just little tiny touch-up stuff you would be surprised like it, it is my personal opinion that every photo can and should be edited in some way like you can do just little things that really make stuff pop and it doesn't take a lot of effort. But you can also push things dramatically, you know, like that photo that Alex took. Like, that's a complete transformation. And I enjoy both ends of the spectrum. I really do. It's fun to play with that. And uh, it's a skill that I'm trying to develop. And you can work on developing that by, you know, practice. So 
I did enjoy that this year. It's, I, I had fun with it. It's just, it sucked because so much of what I was doing ended up being kind of in private because I was like, well, I haven't done April 3rd. And that was a bad way of going about it. Anyway, so that's, that's today's vlog. I, I did not technically succeed at what I set out to do, but I'm okay with it. And if I've learned not to put that restriction on myself for next year. Um, and we'll see how it goes. And I'm looking forward to taking more photos. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow for the last vlog of 2023. We're going to have a party. Alex and Haley will get back tomorrow as well. We won't have Josh, but we'll have everyone else. So it'll be a fun time. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?